This is the Addicts Devotional for September the 3rd, and I called it The Worst into Good. The first words in my book, I asked God to save me. And if he has chosen this way to do it, can it be all right with you? Was given to me just before I, I printed it. It was not my thought many would uh, believe the experience that I chronicled, but many wouldn't reject the premise God would lead me into a life of addiction. Addiction has been a part of my life long before I, I knew even how to spell the word. My first addiction was sexual in nature about the age of six. Will you begin to look down on me and consider it my fault, or would you see a plan being set into place which would be the catalyst of what you are reading today? Many of you read or listen to my devotional because it touches something within you. Whether you have a loved one who is an addict or you yourself suffer from an addiction of some sort, Having lived my life filled with anxieties, pain, and sorrow of addiction for more than 46 years, and I am 52 when I wrote this, but today, or actually tomorrow, I'll be 60, I have empathy with those who suffer similarly, no matter what the addiction may be. I understand. Perhaps God designed from my youth what Satan had done in his attempt to destroy me, had purposed it to be a help to many, because through me, they will come to know Christ as a healer of addictions. The secret of overcoming addiction is to recognize it is not something without remedy. It is not something intangible and much greater than some disease theory others may have you believe. It is truly a spiritual battle which can be only be won when we accept there is only one solution, God. The closing thought is written by my goddaughter who is also an addict dealing with the, uh, the issue. And she states, walls right now are all I see. One of these days, I will be free. And that is true. Now go and have yourself a fulfilling and profitable day.